Product review. Crud cutter. Cleaner, degreaser, stain remover. If your stovetop looks this dirty, you might want to ask yourself why you let it get this dirty in the first place. But, for the purposes of this video, I let it get this dirty so I could show off to you the cleaning power of this product, Crud Cutter, cleaner slash degreaser slash stain remover. In addition to the stovetop, I also want to clean the oven door handle, the countertop that sits next to the stove, and the walls around the stove. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the grates. Now, according to the directions, for older, more difficult jobs, apply a generous amount of cleaner and allow it to stand for a few minutes before wiping dry. So, I'm going to spray it generously all over and let it stand for a few minutes, that way the chemicals can do their job. Alright, so it's been a few minutes and uh, I'm going to try wiping off the countertop. The countertop is looking good. I think it's pretty much finished. And with that, I'm going to move on to this, the uh, stovetop. And as you can see, the chemical has definitely eaten away at all the grime and crud that's been there. It looks pretty dissolved. And I'm going to actually reuse this uh, piece of paper towel. It's actually still pretty clean. Put that there, let it soak it up, and switch gloves. But first I want to divert my attention to the area with the knobs and the oven door handle. I want to take off the knobs to make it easier to clean this area. In this case the knobs are identical except for the oven one, but you might want to make markings on them anyway if you want to put them back in exactly the same place where you found them. I'm actually going to clean them in my kitchen sink. With the knobs out of the way there is much better access to clean this area. Okay, that looks pretty good, so on to the handle. Reuse the paper towel by letting it soak up some of this. With a new piece of paper towel, continue.
At this point I want to reapply some spray for the tougher grime that's been left behind. And actually I want to attack it with a plastic scourer. So the progress is looking good so far, I just want to get at the few remaining spots of grime that remain, those stubborn ones, and uh, that'll be it. I'm all done and look at the difference.